from Krimo Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Southern Africa's largest manufacturer of railway sleepers, Colossal Concrete Products, has outlined its vision for delivering optimal solutions for the rail sector. Lumkile Nkomfe tells us more. Amid the challenges of vandalism and underinvestment, Colossal Concrete Products remain steadfast in their strategy to build long-lasting relationships within the rail sector and increase their capacity to manufacture premium rail products in line with varying customer needs. The company remains hopeful that positive changes can take place in this sector. Colossal Concrete Products COO Mapito Kivit elaborates. So we're very excited at the fact that things seem to be turning around bit by bit. Uh, as previously mentioned, recently we've had a supplier workshop with Transnet and their key suppliers where they've just taken us into their planning and what their demands are going to look like in the future, what some of the changes they're going to make in terms of contracts and how they'll be awarding them. So I think for me, uh, that's a positive change in terms of the rail sector, right? And I think as Colossal Concrete Products were well positioned to be able to uh, meet those demands and those needs. So I'm just excited about the future and I think um, things are turning around and I think uh, we'll be able to meet Transnet and our other customers where they need us when it comes to that. Givit says the value of having distinctive rail products sets the company apart from other competitors in this sector and highlights this as a key factor in acquiring significant supply contracts. Colossal Concrete Products has about 40 railway related products so we produce concrete sleepers, poles and masts, large diameter pipes, culverts, specialized uh, products as well as enclosures, right? All, all of these are concrete products. So what sets us apart is that there are some products that only we manufacture, right? Even though we do have competitors in the industry, we have specialized products that only come from us. So even if you look at the recent award of the Transnet tender, we got 45% of the allocation versus our other two suppliers because of uh, the large variety of products that we have. So I think that distinguishes us in the sense that you can come to us and it's basically a one-stop shop when it comes to the things that you need. And our products go far beyond what you see in a concrete sense, right? We provide electrification to places that need uh, telecoms, you know, our poles assist with fiber installations and things like that, our culverts, water passes through, we put them under bridges and stuff. So I think our products just go far beyond what you see with the naked eye. Noting the gradual uptake of rail projects being awarded, Kivit adds that Colossal remains well capacitated to deliver rail products on time if and when mandated to do so. I think the more projects are awarded, then we'll be able uh, to get our feet on the ground and go because we have capacity, a lot of it. And um, as much as we are working and the company is afloat and we have two factories that are currently operating where we have people employed, we have capacity for more. We provide our products to the private sector and the public sector. So we support uh, key customers like Transnet, Prasa, uh, government in terms of the municipalities when it comes to our poles in terms of electrification and um, we also provide our products to the private sector like I said some mines in the Northern Cape, bordering countries Botswana, Namibia and recently um, Swaziland with plans to get into Mozambique as well so we have customers on both ends both public and private right in terms of optimizing our production it's, it's important for us to just plan when we have contracts to make sure that we employ people to increase our capacity. So depending on our, custom, our customers' demands, we can employ more people to make sure that we produce more products and we can also invest in more molds to reduce our production days. So if a customer needs something earlier than we can manufacture, we can make means in order to uh, capacitate ourselves to deliver on those needs. Looking ahead, Kivit says one of Colossal's aims is to ensure that they stay ready to capitalize on the broader concerted efforts to improve the country's rail network. There's been a huge initiative uh, from road to rail in terms of the infrastructure that is just uh, suffering right now with all the products that's moving on the road. So I think there's a great push to make sure that we get the rail network up and running and I think that supports us and we are ready to support the government in that. 
That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter. Thank <laughs> you.